What is going on everybody? It is Abach1654 here and today I'm actually going to bring you a brand new video. Today we're going to be unlocking the Powers Operator skins in, within the Season 2 Battle Pass. Uh, I'm going to show you guys um, what the objectives are, how to unlock them, uh, just in an easy way there and an efficient way and uh, also what skins you're going to be getting with this operator mission and with reaching this uh tier here so before we do get started make sure you guys do hit that like button that subscribe button and that bell notification so you do know when we go live when we upload here uh, on the channel so let's actually dive right into it here basically this one you have to be tier 70 within the battle pass you do have to purchase the battle pass as well too Another big thing is um, when it comes to these objectives, we'll go over to them. We'll press in uh, R3 here. Now, I, I do a lot of these videos and you guys uh, definitely do know um, that I do. I try to do every single one that I can when this when these come out. The number one thing I still get comments on and I've talked about it a lot is when you do these objectives, you have to complete the game that you completed the objective in. For example, I get five enemy kills um you know who have been de detected by my spy plane or my uav now if i get that and it pops up and i complete it and then i immediately leave the game it won't count it'll count temporarily and then when you reset your game or turn your game off or you know try to use or equip those skins it won't let you do it so the big thing is make sure you guys are completing the matches that you guys are unlocking the objectives in so that's one thing i want to get out of the way here for you but basically, the first one is uh, kill five enemies who have been detected by your spy plane or UAV. The uh, next one is 15 eliminations using a sniper rifle. Uh, the third objective is intercept five incoming uh, projectiles with a trophy system field upgrade. And the fourth and final one is using ghost, ghost perk uh, and get five kills while there's a UAV in the air or active. So basically i'm going to show you the last three objectives the very first one's pretty self-explanatory there just kill five people while you have a uav but i'm going to show you guys on um, the last three of me unlocking them i'm um, an easy way for you guys to unlock them and then these are actually uh in order to unlock these skins as well too you do have to be tier 70. so that's a huge uh huge thing as well you got to make sure that you're tier 70 here in order to start doing these objective missions you also have to make sure that she's equipped and she's actually going to be in the Warsaw Pact, so make sure that you have her equipped at all times or else the challenges you're trying to complete will not count. And then um, we're going to go over to here and we're going to go into Customs. This one, the first one here, this is the one that you're going to actually, uh, I'm sorry, this one here with like the cheetah print, this is the one you're going to unlock at tier 70. Then this one here, which is more of an army look. And uh, this one here where it's the red cheetah and like the yellow jacket is the one that you're going to get with completing the operator missions so let's move on over to me unlocking those three ob last three objectives and showing you an easy way to complete those okay so here we're actually getting the 15 uh kills with the um with basically just a regular sniper i was just running around it's it's pretty self-explanatory i know you guys know pretty much what to do and you know how to complete this objective i just kind of ran around i did this in theater mode because i ended up getting it off uh you know without uh, recording there because i wasn't sure how many i had but it's basically just get 15 kills with a sniper rifle pretty self-explanatory there um i just did it on nuketown i got it done in about two games so um especially with a sniper on nuketown is a little bit more difficult but it's faster paced so that's what i recommend doing for that one let's move on over to the next objective there okay so this is the trophy system so essentially what you're going to want to do is just make sure you're throwing a trophy system in an area like this i did it that was basically what you needed to do was throw your trophy system and basically have somebody when the enemies are going to be throwing flash grenades smoke grenades c4s regular grenades some tags and it, it as long as it shoots it out of the air and basically does what it's supposed to it'll count as the five that you need so that's what i would recommend doing and i'll play it for you guys here again is essentially make sure you guys are uh having two at all times there and constantly throwing it at objectives and what it's going to do is it's going to intercept anything and as long as it blows it up it'll count towards it. i got that done in like the first two or three minutes of a domination game so that's very simple and uh, very easy there for you guys to uh to do let's move on over to the last and uh final objective there so for this one i wasn't uh even quite sure i ended up getting it but basically there was already a uav that was in the air earlier with an enemy and then what i ended up doing was uh getting 
my own UAV up, and then it also counted as getting the five kills. So as long as there's a UAV in the air and you're getting kills with it, that's what I that's how and you have the ghost perk on, obviously, then you'll be all set to go. But it's mainly gonna be you're gonna want to do this in hardcore because then you'll know for sure when there's a uav uh up and in the air and then that's when i would just try to get as many kills as you possibly can so we ended up getting it there very simple very easy and straightforward if you guys need any help with these let me know down in the comments make sure you guys are completing the matches once you complete the objectives do not leave or else it will not count that's a huge thing so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video take care